And finally, for today's program, let's turn to Kenry Hilton for a look at Adventist history. This week, learn how Adventists responded to the aftermath of Hurricane Camille, which struck the southern region of America. On the night of August 17, 1969, Hurricane Camille made landfall in Mississippi as a Category 5 hurricane and caused catastrophic destruction across the Gulf Coast of the United States. At the time, it was the second most destructive storm known to have hit the U.S. Weather experts deduced that if Hurricane Camille had moved just one degree further west, it would have passed directly over New Orleans and could have completely destroyed the city, killing hundreds of thousands of people. This week, we reflect on the efforts of the Seventh-day Adventist Church to provide care and disaster relief services to those devastated by the storm. A Seventh-day Adventist disaster relief van was in the first convoy of rescue crews and relief supplies that went into the Mississippi coast. Amazement and profound gratitude was expressed by survivors of the storm as they witnessed our arrival. By morning, meals were being prepared for the residents and thousands were fed each day. Our disaster relief van and crew supplied a number of essential resources to address the, the needs of the residents grappling with the aftermath of a major natural disaster. These include electricity to, to the courthouse building, water pressure from its tanks, hot meals three times a day, refrigeration for perishable food and medical supplies, clothing and bedding, and also bathroom facilities. In addition to the hot meals served, approximately four tons of food were distributed to families impacted by the hurricane. This was among the many efforts of Seventh-day Adventists to minister in practical ways to those in dire need due to the devastation of Hurricane Camille. We'll never know the full extent of the impact made or how many lives might have been led to Christ as a result of our service, but we give thanks for the local ministries, the Adventist Development Relief Agency, and the many volunteers who through the years have stepped up to help in times of crisis. And that was this week in Adventist history.